PM Gati Shakti. PM Gati Shakti is a transformative approach for economic growth and sustainable development. The approach is driven by seven engines, namely roads, railways, airports, ports, mass transport, waterways, and logistics infrastructure. All seven engines will pull forward the economy in unison. These engines are supported by the complementary roles of energy transmission, IT communication, bulk water and sewerage, and social infrastructure. Finally, the approach is powered by clean energy and sabka prayas. The efforts of the central government, the state governments, and the private sector together, leading to a huge job and entrepreneurial opportunities, opportunities for all, especially the youth. PM Gati Shakti Master Plan, National Master Plan, the scope of PM Gati Shakti National Master Plan will encompass the seven engines for economic transformation, seamless multimodal connectivity, and logistics efficiency. It will also include the infrastructure development by the state governments as per Gati Shakti Master Plan. The focus will be on planning, financing, including through innovative ways, use of technology, and speedier implementation. The projects pertaining to these seven engines in the National Infrastructure Pipeline will be aligned and aligned with PM Gati Shakti framework. The touchstone of the master plan will be world-class modern infrastructure and logistic synergy among different modes of movement, both of people and goods, and location of projects. This will help raise the productivity and accelerate economic growth and development. Road transport. PM Gati Shakti Master Plan for Expressways will be formulated in 22-23 to facilitate faster movement of people and goods. The National Highways Network will be expanded by 25,000 kilometers in 2022-23. 20,000 crores of rupees will be mobilized through innovative ways of financing to complement the public resources. The data exchange among all mode operators will be brought on unified logistics interface platform designed for application programming interface. This will provide for efficient movement of goods through different modes, reducing logistics cost and time assisting just-in-time inventory management, and in eliminating tedious documentation. Most importantly, this will provide real-time information to all stakeholders and improve international competitiveness, open source mobility stack for organizing seamless travel of passengers will also be facilitated. Contracts for implementation of multimodal logistic parks at four locations through PPP mode will be awarded in 22-23. Railways will develop new products and efficient logistic services for small farmers and small and medium enterprises, besides taking the lead in integration of postal and railways network to provide seamless solutions for movement of parcels. One station, one product concept will be popularized to help local businesses and supply chains. As a part of Atmanirbhar Bharat, 2,000 kilometer of network will be brought under Kavach, the indigenous world-class technology for safety and capacity augmentation in 2022-23. 400 new generation Vande Bharat trains will better energy efficiency and passenger riding experience will be developed and manufactured during the next three years. 100 PM Gati Shakti cargo terminals for multimodal logistics facilities will be developed during the next three years. Innovative ways of financing and faster implementation will be encouraged for building metro systems of appropriate type at scale. Multimodal connectivity between mass <clears throat> urban transport and railway stations will be facilitated on priority. Design of metro systems 
including civil structures, will be reoriented and standardized for Indian conditions and needs. Parvat Mala, as a preferred ecological, ecologically sustainable alternative to conventional roads in difficult hilly areas, National Ropeways Development Program will be taken up on PPP mode. The aim is to improve connectivity and convenience for commuters besides promoting tourism. This may also cover congested urban areas where conventional mass transit system is not feasible. Contracts for eight such ropeway projects for a length of 60 kilometers will be awarded in 22-23. With technical support from the Capacity Building Commission, central ministries, state governments, and their infra agencies will have their skills upgraded. This will ramp up capacity in planning, design, financing, including innovative ways, and implementation management of the PM Gati Shakti infrastructure projects. Inclusive development, our second priority. 